Hi, I'm Evan Pantazzi. Today we're going to cover the next segment of this action. Now, I've dissected it, this movement, this one movement, into two different applications. So you can start to understand that any one particular move could be a myriad of different techniques, applications, and uses. In this particular instance, once we've dropped into here, it's not the dropping, it's the moving into that action. Now, every action, you have to really dissect the transitions into each posture if you're using a kata, such as this Pasai from Oyata. Now, this action coming from in here, say I've caught the person behind the jaw as you've seen in application number three, and we dropped him into the knee. It didn't work. The hand is going to slide up under the mental nerve, sliding down here, catching at the mental nerve, where the other hand is looping over the top of the neck to get the person into what's called the Hawaiian Triangle. Now, Hawaiian Triangle is a, a, a movement that um, uh, Professor Wally J utilized a lot, and that's where I learned it as well, where you catch the person in sort of a guillotine, but not at the side of your body. It's out to the front where you're using your two arms as levers on both sides of the individual's neck. Now, we've done this in um, a, a way that is going to be the most um, damaging. So, again, I cut it down. I didn't want to go into the full application. Now, it can be used as a blood choke. It can be used as a neurological attack. It could be used as a fatal technique. And we're not going to go into the fatal, obviously, but we are going to go into the blood attack with it and show you a little nerve um, action there, uh, here and there in the technique as well. Now, once you've caught into the person, you have them in that position, okay, stepping out to the next posture where the hands rise up and, and separate is going to be um, the next action. But I just wanted to show you the two applications that this movement to here could be. Now, it's not limited to that. I have many more in my own mind and in my own practice that I utilize. But I just wanted to show you two in this journey we're taking through this kata so you can understand that there's many more possibilities. Don't limit it to what I'm showing you. You go out and investigate what it could be. It could be an exterior uh, yang type of an action or it could be an interior moving action that is going with the tiger, the black tiger or the white crane. That's what karate is composed of and is also the third mythical animal of the dragon, which is the synthesis of the both. So stay tuned. Look at the platinum subs subscription here on YouTube on the extended videos. We've added it as well as on patreon.com slash qshow. The channels are here um, so you can pick your method that you want to learn by and get into the more extended information to see the anatomical dissection um, and uh, understanding of the uh, actual structures that you're attacking, their nerves, their blood vessels, their organs. They're not fictitious pressure points or um, meridian channels. So this will give you a little bit more in-depth. You'll see the demonstrations, you'll see the ramifications on a live um, okay, so you can understand what they're going through and how that done properly could um, end the fight quite quickly and or end the person's life quite quickly. So this is the real karate. This is the um, lethal force of real karate when you utilize Kyushu. <laughs> Thank you.